Now let's talk about the methodology for footprinting. Remember, we are passively gathering information. We call it Open Source Intelligence Gathering, or OSINT. We're going to look at the organization's website and search engines and do people searches and look at financial service information, job sites and alerts in groups and forums. So starting out with their organization website, not only their public website, but can we get into restricted websites? So we're going to search all we can using search engines. And we'll do advanced searching using Google hacking techniques. And then we'll also see what we can get out of social networking. Because very often what uh, organizations will do is on Facebook, they'll talk about this and they'll talk about that. Or employees will talk about what's going on at work on Facebook or on Twitter or something. And so all of this leaks out information about what they're doing. Um, we'll look at uh, footprinting their website, email footprinting, and as well as intelligence gathering, and uh, who is footprinting, and DNS footprinting, and network footprinting, and footprinting through social engineering. So with the search engines, you're trying to extract all you can about a target, and there's a lot that can be obtained. Uh, so not only just using search engines, but also internet archives from what was on their websites in years gone by that might provide sensitive information. The archives will have copies of stuff that maybe they've removed. So maybe even from a week ago or a month ago, stuff that they, they look at and they go, oh, we never should have published this, and they changed their site, but it's already been archived, and we can look at that. So you can check all these different search en engines, Google and Yahoo and Bing and Ask and AOL, Baidu and DuckDuckGo, uh, just to search now. You can also, of course, look at the Wayback Machine and archive.org. If you've ever looked at archive.org, it's a lot of fun because you can see, um, oh my goodness, going way, way back into the 90s, uh, they, they do snapshots of websites as they are. And um, so you can see what a website looked like back then, including any sensitive information they didn't mean to reveal. Um, we can determine operating systems of websites. There's a, a site called Netcraft. They'll tell you the operating system used by the target organization. If you want, you can use something called Shodan, which is loads of fun. They basically will show every internet-facing device, whether it is a computer, router, server, webcam, uh, industrial control system, uh, Internet of Things device. So it's a lot of fun to look at those. You can collect location information, like Google Earth, uh, and Google Maps, and Wikimapia, and National Geographic Maps, and Yahoo Maps, and Bing Maps, to find out where they physically are. Because if you're going to do maybe social engineering, or you're going to do a physical attack, we need to know physically where they are. And also, if there are any approaches, and roads, and places we can hang out, and hide out, and observe from, and watch through binoculars. So um, we can collect location information. And of course, do people searches, because don't forget that people are the weakest link. So we'll look at social networking and people search sites. And so social networks, great source of information, because people will leak out what's going on. So um, you can people search websites. You can get people's residential addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, date of birth. You can get photos and their social networking profiles, and you can read their blogs. Uh, you can look at satellite photos of residences, um, and uh, you can also um, see their projects and their operating environment. It's so, like you might have a company that says, or somebody saying, hey, you know, um, we, we're short on IT people, or that's ultimately when you read that, that's what you glean. Um, or they're talking about a new technology that, or a new something they're going to deploy, and you go, aha, possible target. So people search online services. There, here are just a few. You can think of more. Anywho, U.S. Intelli Intellius, 411, People Finder, People Smart, Romy, Private Eye, People Search Now, Public Background Checks. There's loads and loads and loads of those. You can also check on a uh, company by looking at their financial services. Um, what's their market value? What shares are in the organization? The profile of the organization and their competitors as well. We can look on the job boards, and especially the job sites will tell us what technologies they use 
and where they're weak. Who are they hiring because they don't have enough of somebody for something? Or who do they need to hire? So you can look at job requirements and employee profiles and hardware and software information. And there's a whole bunch of job sites we can look at, not simply Monster or Dice. And sometimes companies will have um, alerts. So they'll get emails or SMSs. Um, and uh, you can also do that. Like if they change their website, you can get alerts from Google or Twitter or Yahoo or whatever to let you know if something has changed. So you can check that out as well. And of course, the user groups and the forums and the blogs, these are where people speak kind of freely, and they often leak out sensitive information. You'll see their full name, where they work, where they live, phone numbers, email addresses, pictures, and them talking about upcoming events or projects that they've been involved in. We can create whole fake profiles to try to join the company, uh, the target employees, uh, or rather the target's employee and other groups. I mean, so we can create all these phony profiles and pretend to be an interested party and maybe chat them up a bit. And we can get information by searching fully qualified domain name, IP addresses, and the like. So that is some methodologies for footprinting.